What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. When you come into the arena and you see me play, you see me play, don't you? Absolutely. You see me give everything I got, right? Absolutely. But we talking about practice right now. But it's an issue that you're coaching. We talking about practice. Man, I look, I hear you. I, it's funny to me, too. I mean, it's strange, it's strange to me, too. But we talking about practice, man. We're not even talking about the game, the actual game, when it matters. We talking about practice. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Dummy Codes. I have a question for you guys in the comments. Do you think you challenge yourself enough? I didn't know what competitive programming was. Um, I, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't understand the concept. But I ran across a couple YouTube videos and it made me feel so insecure how fast these people solve their coding problems. It's crazy to me that I've seen, I've literally seen this guy, I don't know his name, How? Because here I am on Lead Code on an easy question, and there is no possible way that I'm spending the past 30 minutes struggling on this, right? After watching a couple of these guys on the internet, I realized they all have one consecutive tip to the people begging in their comments saying, how did you get like this? They all say it's just practice. And I know a lot of you guys probably clicked on this video wondering what secret tip I'm gonna give you for your Google interview that's coming up next week, but really, it's just practice. We're in here talking about practice. And this advice isn't coming from some god programmer, because I'm not. This is coming from people who just did the work. People who could go to any technical interview at a fame company and knock out that technical interview like it's nothing. At the end of the day, you might think you're getting the hardest problems, but to them it's just another practice problem. Practice? Here's a fact you have to remember. Every single year there's some new service, some new lead code, some new algo expert, anything that is dedicated to helping people solve these problems when it comes to getting that job. But there's another fact you have to remember, right? All these big fan companies are aware of all these new resources you guys are getting. They're also aware that you guys are getting very good at memorizing problems, so it's harder to weed out the bad programmers. So they're making these questions even harder than they used to be before. I guarantee you, technical interview questions from now are way harder than they used to be back in the day which I don't know back in the day in the tech world is like two years ago look at it like this right you have an athlete and you have a big game you're the athlete the big game is your I don't know your fame company interview if you're that athlete and you've been doing your practice you've been taking your body when this big game comes up it's nothing to you it's just another day in your life and like most athletes, they are super good at what they do because they've been doing it every single day. All because they put in the practice, the time, and they have the experience. So why do you not apply the same logic to technical interviews? Practice? A lot of people are out there making the same mistake, only practicing when they get that call for that technical interview saying, hey, it's in two weeks, and then that's when they start practicing. And some people might start practicing a couple months out, but really they're not dedicating that much time to it. These competitive programmers, especially those at the top of their game, can probably look at a coding question in five seconds, in the next five seconds, for some reason, they're good at typing super fast too, but in the next five seconds, type up the solution and give them five more seconds, they could probably give you another solution of the same problem. Yes, a lot of them are smart, but a lot of the time they've seen these problems over and over again. And for some reason, they know five different ways to explain one single problem. It's, I still can't, I'm so jealous. I'm sure a lot of you guys have got that call from a fan company, especially if you're a new graduate, a graduate, especially if you're a new graduate, I'm sure you've just got that call from a fan company saying, hey, your interview is next week or wherever you scheduled it, and you're freaking out, hoping that you pass this. But imagine if you had just started practicing a couple months before. I'm hoping this video reaches someone out there who doesn't have that interview yet, but please start practicing. There's no secret about it. You're just gonna have to ingest a bunch of problems. You're just gonna have to cry about it. But honestly, there is no buts. Like, you just have to do it. This whole video is kind of a diss to myself because in the past eight months, I've been focusing on nothing but working. And obviously, as you guys remember, I am terrified of technical interviews. In the past eight months, I could have been practicing. So I get mad thinking of all the time I wasted scrolling on my phone. Like, imagine if you took three hours of scrolling on your phone, two hours of the day that you spent on your phone to just sit, 
put things away and practice. You don't have to knock out, you don't have to get a problem right, just, just be there, just be present. Here's one place I typically go to, you know, get a feel of what I'm gonna be expected to answer. When I go on Lead Code, I typically look for someone who just interviewed at a fan company, and if you're lucky enough, they can compare the questions I got from that technical interview at the fan company and then find them on Leetco. Then they say, practice these questions, right? Especially if you know what company you're going to uh, interview for. Some places actually kind of ask a specific type of technical questions. So it's good to keep yourself updated on what's going on within that company. Yes, it's good to do a wide range of studying and practice for as many months as possible. As long as you don't have a job, please listen to me. As long as you're unemployed and you want to be employed right now, please listen to me. At the end of the day, I just don't want to see you guys work so hard in college, do your internships, do your projects, and when you finally get that, finally get that call to get an interview and do a technical test, you mess up and you choke because you didn't practice enough. Or for my self-taught people where people don't have a normal background and you already know how hard it is to get an interview. So imagine you finally, after hundreds of rejections and ghostings and recruiters reaching out to you just to ghost you for some reason, that keeps happening to me. The point is, imagine finally getting to that technical interview and you just bomb it because you didn't think it was important enough to do some practice. Practice. So now that you've reached the end of this video, please tell me in the comments how many hours do you think you're gonna dedicate per week now, after watching this, to studying algorithms and data structures for technical interviews. Thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate it. Check back in for more videos, subscribe and like. I always forget to ask that.